Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 8 leaks are stacking up, and if they pan out, this could be the most meaningful leap for Samsung's bookstyle foldable since the line began. We're talking a slimmer and lighter design by roughly 10%, a larger 5000 mAh battery, a new inner display structure that aims to reduce the crease, and the potential return of S Pen support. On top of that, reports from the Bell in South Korea suggest Samsung is aiming to ship around 6.7 million units when this device arrives in 2026, signaling a push to make the fold truly mainstream. In this video, I'll break down what's credible, what's still a question mark, and whether you should hold off on buying the Galaxy Z Fold 7. Quick note before we dive in, everything you're about to hear is based on leaks and reporting, primarily from the Bell and industry sources. Samsung hasn't confirmed the Galaxy Z Fold 8 or its specs yet, so details can change. Where possible, I'll call out what's reported and what's speculation. Let's start with the headline, thinner and lighter by about 10%. If you've used a foldable daily, you know a small percentage drop on paper can feel like a big difference in the hand. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 measures around 4.2mm when unfolded. A 10% reduction could bring the Fold 8 to around 3.8mm in that same state. That doesn't just look good on a spec sheet, it affects comfort, balance, and pocketability. A slightly thinner chassis can make one-handed use a little less awkward when the device is folded, and it can reduce fatigue during long reading sessions, gaming, or split-screen multitasking. The trick, of course, is doing it without sacrificing structural rigidity. Samsung has years of hinge and frame engineering under its belt, so a meaningful cut in thickness and weight would be a strong statement that its materials and internal layout have progressed yet again. Now, pair that slimmer body with a bigger battery. Multiple reports point to a jump from the Fold 7's 4,400 mAh pack to a 5,000 mAh cell in the Fold 8. For a dual-screen device that often runs high refresh rates and bright panels, that extra capacity matters. It can translate to more screen-on time for multi-window work, longer video playback on flights, and less battery anxiety on travel days when you're bouncing between maps, messages, and camera. The engineering challenge is obvious, less space, more battery. If Samsung hits both targets, thinner and a 5000 mAh pack, it signals smarter internal packaging, improved thermal design, and likely efficiency gains from display drivers and system software. Even if charging speeds stay similar, raw capacity is the kind of upgrade you feel every day. Another big talking point is the crease. According to translated reporting, Samsung is said to be using laser drilling metal plate technology for the inner display structure. Let's demystify that. In simple terms, micro-precision patterns or holes in a backing plate can help control how the display layers flex as you open and close the phone. By shaping the stress distribution along the fold, you can reduce the prominence of the crease and possibly improve durability over many thousands of cycles. It's an under-the-hood change, but it impacts every interaction because you see and feel that crease every time the phone opens. If Samsung can make it less visible under bright light and less tactile under a finger or stylus, the Fold 8's inner screen will feel more like a true tablet canvas and less like a compromise. Which brings us to the S Pen. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 launched without S Pen support, reports say that decision helped Samsung hit a thinner, lighter profile at the time. The latest leaks suggest S Pen support could return on the Fold 8. For productivity users, that's huge. Handwritten notes, sketching, precision photo edits, annotating PDFs, the fold format shines when you can treat the inner display like a notebook. A reduced crease and a firmer display stack would make pen input feel more consistent from center to edge. What's unclear right now is whether Samsung would include an embedded S Pen silo in the device or continue with external cases and magnets. Compatibility appears likely, the physical storage solution is the question. Either way, the combination of less crease and pen support is a strong value proposition for professionals and creators. Let's talk strategy and scale. The Bell reports that Samsung has set an internal target to ship roughly 6.7 million units of the Galaxy Z Fold 8. That's an ambitious number for a premium foldable and suggests a few things. First, Samsung seems confident that the design refinements, thinner, lighter, bigger battery, smaller crease, will resonate with a broader audience. Second, it implies a coordinated push with carriers and retail partners, potentially more aggressive promotions, and a wider global rollout intended to normalize the fold as a flagship choice rather than a niche. Third, it fits with another point in the reporting, Samsung plans to place foldable handsets at the center of its smartphone business. In other words, foldables aren't just a halo project anymore, they're core to the roadmap. There's also a competitive backdrop here. 
While the decision to scale up Fold 8 shipments reportedly isn't specifically about Apple, the industry is buzzing about a possible iPhone Fold entering the market. If and when Apple arrives, it will instantly bring massive consumer attention to the category, and it could cannibalize some Samsung sales, especially in mixed ecosystems. Samsung's best defense is to sharpen the fundamentals now, make the device thinner and lighter, improve endurance, minimize the crease, and restore S Pen support so the Fold remains the power user's dream. That's how you keep leadership in a space you pioneered. Another thread in the story is the rumored Galaxy Z Trifold. Separate reports point to a December 5th reveal, likely in limited quantities. If that lands, think of the Trifold as a Halo product, it showcases Samsung's material science and hinge innovation at the extreme, grabs headlines, and feeds learnings back into the mainstream Fold line. The Fold 8, expected in 2026, would then be the volume play the refined, everyday foldable that a lot more people can justify. The two products don't compete directly, they complement each other on the roadmap. So, should you wait for the Galaxy Z Fold 8 or buy the Fold 7 now? It depends on your priorities. If you value the thinnest, lightest possible foldable with the best endurance and you've been waiting for S Pen support to come back, the Fold 8, based on these leaks, sounds tailor-made for you. Waiting could net you a cleaner inner display with a less visible crease, a fuller day of battery life under heavy use, and a pen experience that takes advantage of that bigger tablet-like canvas. On the other hand, the Fold 7 is already an excellent device today. If you find a compelling deal and you don't need pen input, or you're less sensitive to the crease, the Fold 7 gives you the multitasking and large-screen benefits of the form factor right now. As always, if you're on the fence and buying during the holidays, check for extended return windows, that way, you can revisit your choice if a concrete Fold 8 timeline appears. Let's quickly recap what's rumored versus what's still unknown. Rumors point to a roughly 10% reduction in thickness and weight, aiming to improve in-hand feel and portability. A bump to a 5000 mAh battery is said to deliver more real-world endurance for video, gaming, and multitasking.